Hi everybody. Every child is special. At least that's what their parents think. Some kids are active and playful. <laughs> others, on the contrary, are always calm and compliant. Some like to read. Others like to build things all day long. Still, others prefer sports. However, the children that we've picked for this video are really amazing. And this is not just the opinion of their mothers. Among today's heroes are little geniuses, children of unusual beauty, and just unique kids. Do you want to meet them? Then let's get it on. Mia Aflalo Shunem. She has 15 posts on Instagram, but more than 100,000 followers. What is her secret? Probably the gorgeous hair of this little girl, who's only six years old. <laughs> Mia Aflalo Shunem, a little girl from Israel, has such thick hair that some people believe she's wearing a wig. But no, her beauty is absolutely natural, and Mia just loves posing in front of the camera in fancy dresses. Some social media users believe the girl is probably too young to be so popular, but it seems that she enjoys her life and is happy to try all kinds of outfits. Melanie Dickerson I love you. Milani is just a toddler, but she has incredibly huge eyes that any Disney princess would envy. Sadly, this beautiful feature is hurting the girl. The fact is that Milani has a rare genetic disease known as axenfeld rieger syndrome, which may someday blind her. Children born with this disease often have small or almost non-existent irises, so it looks like she has eyes with huge pupils. As light enters the eye through the pupil, children like Milani or with multiple pupils pupils are often usually sensitive to light. If you've ever used drops to dilate your pupils, you can imagine what we're talking about. Whenever the girl wants to go outside, for example, to walk from home to her mother's car or just to the playground to go on the swings, she has to be really careful. Milani must always wear her little sunglasses. It's the only way to protect her eyes from the sunlight. Farouk James what does one need to become a model in 2019? Just an unusual appearance and an Instagram account. Farouk James Miller from London is still very young, but he's already pursuing a career in modeling using social media, and all thanks to his gorgeous hair. At the age of six, Farouk's hair was already 60 centimeters long. Can you imagine that? How often do you meet someone with such voluminous hair? Especially if we're talking about a small kid who, let's be honest, wants to play, probably, instead of combing his hair all day. However, it's the boy's mother, Bonnie, who takes care of his gorgeous hair. She says it's not difficult for her to do it, especially since she thinks that it'll help her son go places in the future. Farouk's public life began in 2014, when the boy was only three years old. It was then, after posting several pictures, that it became clear that the unusual boy would be very well liked on social media. Since then, Farouk's popularity has grown along with his hair, and this is likely to carry on. The boy has already appeared with celebrities and walked on catwalks all over the world. In the meantime, he remains an ordinary child. He loves football, he's a fan of Chelsea, and he also likes dancing, music, and theater. This Savia Boron Goncharova the girl with the unusual name Versavia loves ponies and Beyonce, as well as dancing and drawing. Overall, she's no different from other 10-year-old girls, except Versavia suffers from a rare disease known as Pentalogy of Cantrell, in which the heart develops outside of the chest. It's an extremely rare disease that affects one in a million people. Because of the disease, Versavia has a deformed diaphragm, abdominal walls, and chest, and also lacks several bones. The condition is indeed very serious, but despite all the problems, Visavia is very strong. She impressed the doctors immediately after birth because they thought the child would die immediately after birth, but a real miracle happened. Visavia lives and celebrates life, just like her peers. She walks, runs, and jumps, though any physical activity should be done with caution. She has to be careful even when dressing, and her clothes must be so soft as to not damage her heart. When I'm getting dressed, I put soft clothes on to not hurt my heart. However, the girl can't spend her whole life with her heart out. The Savia needs to undergo a very complicated operation, which will put the organ back in its place. And now, the best doctors in the world are preparing for it. Lydian Nadaswaram 
Meet this young Indian pianist who's considered a child prodigy, and deservedly so, by the way. In 2019, Lydia Nadasvaram won the CBS talent show The World's Best and won a million dollars. He is able to play with great speed and on two pianos at the same time. How the hell did the kid even think of that? Lydian's passion for music began to show when he started playing the drums at the age of two. Then the boy started accompanying his father, music director Varshan Satish, to work and also watched his older sister play the piano. The instrument fascinated Lydian. At the age of eight, he watched his sister play and started playing himself without any training. He just watched some videos on YouTube. After that, his sister and father began to help the boy to master the piano, and soon Lydian was able to play Fly to the Bomb at 190 BPM. Then he learned how to play some slow melodic pieces and after a while easily passed the piano exam held by the Trinity College in London. By the way, this isn't a test for kids, it's usually for people like students or even older. He really is a child prodigy. Rebecca and Kimberly Yoon Remember what you did in your spare time at the age of 9 or 11? Probably children's stuff, right? But Rebecca and Kimberly Yoon from the USA love science. So at that age, they assembled and launched a spaceship. It's basically just a very large they're used. Well, actually it was a weather probe they named the Loki Lego Launcher. The ship had an unusual cargo too, a picture of their deceased cat Loki and an R2-D2 figure. And it rose to the stratosphere, where the device registered its coordinates, the temperature, the speed and pressure changes, and then reported this data to its young creators back on Earth. And the sisters were delighted. After all, the device not only worked, but also transmitted information they weren't even expecting. Expecting. For example, the young researchers found out that the temperature drops when the device passes through the first layer of the atmosphere, then it rises and lowers again. The experiment attracted the attention of so many people that it even got to the White House. The girls were invited to a science fair where they met Barack Obama. Now Rebecca and Kimberly continue their research. They've already made several launches and are not going to stop. Mira Modi what do you do when you need to come up with a password? Do you use the same password everywhere? Do you change it a little bit and then you can't remember which version you used? Or maybe you type something simple like 12345 or even just the word password and then wonder why your account was hacked. To avoid such situations, Mira Modi, a ninth grade student, offers you to buy a password. The girl sells only strong, memorable passwords, which she generates using the diceware method invented by Herself. Mira rolls dice to make sure that the words she chooses from the dictionary are absolutely random. The cost is relatively low too, only $8 for perfectly protected data. Mira sends the code phrases, which consist of six randomly selected words from a special dictionary to customers in envelopes via the US Postal Service. Thus, each password is unique and inimitable, because it's written down in a single copy, which is sent to the client. All passwords consist of six words. On her website, where you can order a secure password, Mira informs her potential clients that she's studying at school and therefore can work on secure combinations only in the evenings, once she's done her homework. Isaiah Bird when you're too lazy to exercise, you find a million excuses. Bad weather, wrong day of the week, your shoulder hurts. But Isaiah Bird from Long Beach, California never skips training, although he does have an excuse. The fact is that Isaiah was born without legs. Nevertheless, this doesn't prevent the boy from practicing American football and soccer, as well as swimming, skateboarding, surfing, and even running. But how? How does this young athlete have so much strength and motivation? Why doesn't he just give up. Well, Isaiah himself says that he'll keep on training no matter what, without excuses. Go, 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 go. 
That's what his coach Miguel Rodriguez teaches him. He started coaching the unusual boy when he was only nine years old and managed to become more than a coach and turn into a friend. By the way, Rodriguez receives daily emails, phone calls, and videos from adults and children all over the state, telling him that they were inspired by Isaiah's example, his resilience, and his will to win. His example is truly motivating. What's even more encouraging is that the boy isn't setting new records alone. Isaiah is supported by his mother, Bernadette Hopton, his friends, and his teammates. Marcia and Millie Biggs the story of Marcia and Millie is really unique. It happens once in a million years, because these girls are twins, but not just any twins. They have different skin, hair, and eye colors. Oh God. The girls looked almost identical when they were born, but soon some differences started to appear. As soon as Millie's skin began to darken, Marcia's blue-eyed face started turning lighter, and her hair began to curl and make her look like a cute little blonde girl. Their mother, Amanda, explained that Marcia has her fair skin and golden brown hair, while Millie inherited the features of her Jamaican-born father, Michael. The parents are constantly stopped on the street by confused people. They just don't believe that such different girls could be twins. Maybe friends or cousins, but not twins. And how much did they suffer trying to explain it to the school teachers? However, the sisters don't care about the differences. Marcia and Millie are thick as thieves. They're so close to each other that they're literally synchronized in every action. It's always been like this too. Now the girls are 13 years old, and it seems like they'll shock people at any age. One night, Sam was falling asleep in front of the screen, when suddenly, suddenly, something went wrong! Oh no, he's been caught by Iron Man's suit, and now a portal has opened and Sam ended up inside a huge robot. Missiles, explosions, Sam falls through a time portal, and, oh, phew. Do you want to experience something similar? Then come and meet us. Don't fall asleep like Sam. Subscribe to TechZone.